What's up guys? Wanted to show you a couple new additions. Hey Google, turn the arcade on. Okay, turning two outlets on. Um, as we discussed, I did pick up another cab, so I stuck two in the middle there. Got my new Pac-Man rug. Somebody said it was giving them OCD because of the inconsistencies, but I like it. Um, my buddy sold me a super cheap 42 inch, so I used one of my Raspberry Pi 3B pluses to, that I had an image running on. Was running in uh, this custom machine here. Whack. I actually have set up to run pinball as well. This is kind of my all vertical machine. And that monitor up top is for basically your back glass. Let's pick a table here. Can. I don't know which button to push. There we go. But as you can see, it's got the back glass here with the dot matrix display. Plunger down here. Let's not start a new game. So, plunger. Anyway. Right side. Left side flipper. My Alpha Cade. Um, but yeah, both these I went ahead and upgraded to PC since I had the stuff laying around. It's so much better. I know everybody says there's no latency on Raspberry Pi. Sorry guys, there is. PC is superior, but for 35, 40 bucks, a Raspberry Pi can't go wrong. A uh, good buddy that worked at GameStop hooked me up with that Xbox sign when he quit years and years ago. So super retro, it's like neon, can't really tell, but about to send Galaga PCB off to Berry Berry Sneaky, make some mods to the integrated board. Game room sign that I picked up off of um, Facebook Marketplace and found these night lights, LED night lights or like a two pack for, I don't know, buck 50. And they fit the socket. And then I just wired in uh, permanent power so it didn't go on battery. And my Pac-Man guys are just running into the TV there for USB power. Did it turn off? Oh well, my TV, oh, wrong button. I think we have a couple more of these floating around. But the real thing I wanted to show you guys was my new Mortal, Mar Mortal Kombat marquee. And as we all know, it's a bit faded and washed out in comparison to, of course, your Pac-Man or Galaga sign, which just look freaking awesome. I know sometimes people say, you can't compete with neon, 
build your own, this and that. Yeah, maybe so, but the LED efficiency is nice. And for the price, 45 bucks at Walmart. I had Best Buy price match all three of these because I had rewards points. Um, my buddy, uh, this is the stock little cheap Zelda sword and shield combo, but my buddy made a Dark Link one of this one, which is pretty toit. That was a Christmas or birthday gift from a friend. And I got my Wichita State Shocker sign. Um, but this was a gift from my wife. My arcades, obviously, well, and theater. We call it the J-Max. Um, so my wife for Christmas got me a J-Max arcade sign. It's our little game table. It's supposed to be, but the kids have turned it into a Lego city. Keep the games in that cabinet there. Um, we got the double-decker seating makeshift out of pallets. Um, but anyway, this sign was pretty sweet. It, uh, she got it on Etsy. It's just a thin metal sign. And I was like, man, doesn't do it justice to just hang it on the wall. So I cut a couple pieces of wood, small, like two by two inch wood squares, one on the top, one on the bottom, and wrapped a RGB LED strip around the back so it kind of suspends off the wall and adds a super sweet glow. So when the arcade's off, I keep that on. And the uh, these two Pac-Man guys stay lit even when the arcade's off. So, hey Google, turn the arcade off. Sure, turning two outlets off. So as you can see, those still go. Hey Google, turn the cafe lights off. Hey Google, turn the dresser lamp off. Okay, turning the dresser lamp off. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> hey Google, turn the arcade lamp off. Hey Google, turn the arcade lamp off. There we go. All right, fellas. Thanks for the little tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Game on. Or, as I should say, game over.